the face is not just an involuntary emotional signal system. Within the first years of life, children learn to control some of these facial expressions, concealing true feelings and falsifying expressions of emotions not felt. Parents teach their children to control their expressions by example and, more directly, with statements such as, Don't you give me that angry look. Look happy now when your aunt gives you a present. Don't look so bored. As they grow up, people learn display rules so well that they become deeply ingrained habits. After a time, many display rules for the management of emotional expression come to operate automatically, modulating expression without choice or even awareness. Even when people become aware of their display rules, it is not always possible, and certainly never easy, to stop following them. Once any habit becomes established, operating automatically, not requiring awareness, it is hard to undo. I believe that those habits involving the management of emotion, display rules, may be the most difficult of all to break. It is display rules, some of which differ from culture to culture, that are responsible for the traveler's impression that facial expressions are not universal. I found that when Japanese watched emotion-arousing films, their expressions were no different than those shown by Americans, if the Japanese were alone. When another person was present while they watched the films, a person in authority, the Japanese, much more than most Americans, followed display rules that led them to mask any expression of negative emotions with a polite smile. In addition to these automatically operating habitual controls of facial expressions, people can and do choose deliberately, quite consciously, to censor the expression of their true feelings or falsify the expression of an emotion not felt. Most people succeed in some of their facial deceits. Nearly everyone can remember being totally misled by someone's expression. Yet almost everyone has also had the opposite experience, realizing that someone's words were false by the look that passed across the face. What couple cannot remember an instance in which one of them saw on the other's face an emotion, usually anger or fear, that the other was unaware of showing and even denied feeling? Most people believe that they can detect false expressions. Our research has shown most cannot.